Yeah, fellas, I just wanted to share with you a story about a guy who got married to a Ethiopian immigrant. Now, he's Ethiopian American himself. Mother and father from Ethiopia, but he was raised here. Went back to the motherland where Haile Selassie's from, Ethiopia. Brought a girl back here to get married. I'm not exactly sure if she's younger than him or significantly younger than him, I should say. But I do know that this story comes from a source that I totally trust. So I believe everything that went down the way he says it went down. It took her 12 years to get her green card. And when she got it, that's when her attitude started changing, man. You know what I'm saying? It starts out like this. He gets home from work one day and all the locks were changed. So he's knocking on the door. He has a 12 year old daughter. Well, I think she's 12 now, but he had a, a daughter at the time. This might have been going on. This was going on for some years. I don't know specifically how long, about a year, maybe two years. So let's say his daughter's 10 years old, old enough to know what what's going on. He's knocking on the door, knocking on the door and she don't let him in. So he's banging on the door like, yo, let me in, let me in, let me in. Well, turns out the little girl told the police because he called the police like, yo, I'm locked out of my house. He called the police. And when he got there, the, when the police got there, I'm sorry, the young, the little girl told the police that her father was kicking and banging on the door, screaming at her, saying, let me in, let me in, trying to break him. What happened was the mother changed the locks because she claimed that he was beating on her. Uh, real abusive towards her. Now does that make sense to y'all? Man I'm talking to you specifically. If a woman is being abused. Doesn't she run out the house in her panties. If she has to to get out of there. She doesn't have time to hold the fort down. And become queen of the castle. You know what I'm saying. So and before all this. Or after this uh, incident. No I'm sorry before this incident. He gets stopped at customs. In Canada. Because of this restraining order his wife put on him. Ultimately, this cat ends up losing his job, man. All because of this. And when he went to go to court for custody battle, he had a jive time lawyer because he didn't have the money to pay for it. And his wife, all of a sudden, has money for a lawyer. Whereas before she was crying broke. Like, the truth of the matter is, I believe the 12 years that she was waiting on that green car... She was stacking money, stacking money, because she knew as part of her exit plan, man. These women, I know, I know the um, the uh, UCLA basketball coach John Wooden. He used to he used to say to his players, "You got to be thinking two or three moves ahead of time in order to be any good." So she was obviously t thinking two or three moves ahead of time. And when they were in court, the daughter was coached. Speaking of John Wooden, right? The daughter was coached by her mother. To say she wanted to change her, her last name from her father's last name to her mother's last name. Which is an Ethiopian name. Reason because the last name that he had was a slave name. Now you going to tell me a 10 year old has the wherewithal to say something like that. But I will say about the lawyer situation. In life you get what you pay for and you don't get what you don't pay for. His lawyer is basically a... Uh, What's the term I should say? A passive dude that's basically laying down so that this woman, meaning the guy's ex-wife, gets all the everything she wants from the guy. Like basically making the guy to be out the victim. That that's what this all this is about. You do not get anywhere no benefit out of being married in 2019. And 2020 is gonna be worse. So any brother, black man, white man, Asian man, Puerto Rican man, Indian man. Any of y'all thinking about getting married and having a family, it, it's not that you're wrong for thinking that, but you're wrong for thinking that that situation is going to end up to where you're not emotionally distraught about the whole thing, man. It's just not. And throughout all this, that woman never called the police, meaning the mother. She never called the police and said this dude was beating on me. The only time the police were called was when he called because he got locked out of his own house. So now the man's daughter doesn't talk to him. He doesn't speak to her. So that's nothing. When you have these kids, man, shout out to Urban Red Pill, man. He said 
Those kids belong to the mother and the state. You can't instill any type of values in your child. You can't be a parent to your child. And this dude was married. And he's still getting blocked out, forced out. I don't know not one person that has a child that's actually with that child, been with that child since day one. And everything's going along like a nice, normal, happy family. It's always some drama, always some bullshit where the man is suffering. I know one case where a girl ended up with the short end of the stick, but she's still... I don't know. I don't even I don't really care about that situation because there may be situations where men end up okay after being separated from their children, but more men, all the men that I know that have children have suffered somehow some kind of way. And I just think it's like an idiot's endeavor to think that you're going to go through a marriage and it be prosperous and fruitful and you're going to have a good relationship with your child. And be able to pass on. Like if you have a son. You're not going to be able to pass anything on to him. His mother's going to get him. And influence him. And socialize him. And if you have a daughter. you That's exact. These women are going to stick together. If you have a daughter with a woman. You just basically had female nature. In its youngest form. And it's just going to grow that child up. That child's going to grow up. And they're just going to groom that child. Basically to hate you. And be part of this gynocentric society. So it doesn't benefit men to marry and to have children, period.